Hey, what's up you guys? I'm back, I'm back, back in NC, yay! <laughs> the flight went well, it was smooth, it was, it was great, fantastic. Um, gonna tell you guys all about my trip to Vegas. So me, my best friend, her fiance, flew to Vegas for our friends Brian and Alexa's wedding. It was a direct flight and it was a four hour flight to Vegas, which I was surprised I thought it would be a lot longer than it was. Um, great service, everybody was very nice, very polite, the travel went very smoothly. Once we landed, we headed to our hotel, we stayed at the Bellagio and um we just went to our hotel rooms and we rested and we just took in the beauty and and everything it was our suite was gorgeous it was absolutely gorgeous i've never stayed in a hotel as nice as this but it was gorgeous so we just chilled out we, we rested and you know contacted our people let them know that we got there safe and we were okay and all that good stuff and we took showers we got dressed and we um went sightseeing for a bit and um, Jason went with the guys and we had um, Alexa's bachelorette party and she just wanted something very simple. So basically what we did, she's a very sympathetic person. She's a dancer um, in Vegas and she she's constantly like working. So she just wanted a very sympathetic type of bachelorette type of thing. So we went to a show when we saw a bunch of performers, dancers, musicians, a couple of comedians. We had a couple of drinks and then we did some bar humping, hop, humping. <laughs> we did some bar hopping. <laughs> we met a dancer who looked exactly like Luke Bryan, exactly, dead ass serious. And he gave Alexa a lap dance. <laughs> and um, we had a Uber driver who, really weird Uber driver who was just like on his A shit. I don't even know what the hell was going on. But we were happy, we were we were lit, we didn't, we didn't care, we just, as long as he got us where we needed to be, we were fine, but he was on his A shit. Nobody really wanted to gamble, so we didn't gamble. Um, that wasn't any of our styles, so we just, we didn't do that. Um, I think the guys did, but we didn't do that. Saturday, we slept in a bit, and um, then we eventually got out. We went shopping, we ate at Yard House, we ate at Carson's Kitchen. I think it's called Carson's, it's Carson something. Carson's Kitchen, I think, we ate at top of the world which I really liked I do want to go back there um, Saturday night was great it was the rehearsal dinner everyone was dressed up pretty we met Brian and Alexis people everyone seemed very nice and friendly and welcoming and they did something really unique and cool um, they had everyone sing and um, the guys would sing Brian's name and the girls would sing Alexa's name. And it was just like a cool little thing that we did. And Alexa said she got the idea from a movie that she's seen before. It was really cool, it was neat. Um, I should have recorded that because that was cool. But it was a lot of fun, it was nice. Um, the rehearsal dinner, um, Sunday, we slept in a bit, went out, um, did some sightseeing, a little shopping, went back to the hotel, got dressed, and we went to the wedding. The wedding was great, it was like an hour and a half long. Um, everybody looked amazing. Alexa's dress was absolutely gorgeous. Her wedding colors were silver, lavender, and white. It was absolutely gorgeous. I was not in the wedding. I was just attending. My friend Megan was actually in the wedding. She was a bridesmaid, but I wasn't. But it was so much fun. Really, really enjoyed it. The original plan was to actually stay out there until Tuesday, but we all figured we'd have jobs and responsibilities, which just get back. So Jay did his thing online and um, pushed our flights and we um, went home on Monday, which was great. Okay, some amazing, extraordinary things happened on this trip that I gotta tell you guys about. And um, I did tell my boyfriend about these things because I thought that they were really interesting. First of all, um, at the airport, I met a couple and this couple is from Wisconsin and they have been married for like 40 years, I think they said. They were super sweet, they were super, I think they were fascinated at the idea of me being visually impaired and 
and they knew I had a cane and I think that's what originally started the conversation and like they're like oh do you mind if we talk to you and ask you questions I was like no it's cool I get it all the time <laughs> so we talked and they told me about them and I told them about me and I was like oh well, that's great my boyfriend's from Wisconsin and I was like oh okay and then um Saturday but some point of the day I let my friend and her fiance go do their couple thing you know have some alone time or whatever and I went to a coffee shop got some coffee and I met this girl who was actually working there she was a cashier there and we striked up a conversation and we were talking about the weather and how humid and hot it was and she was telling me about how she was from North Carolina and I was like oh we're from North Carolina too we're here for a wedding and um she was telling me how hot it was and how she missed North Carolina and then um, she was telling me about her husband and how he was from Wisconsin and I was like oh really okay cool my boyfriend's from Wisconsin <laughs> weird right really weird really really weird um I didn't realize it until later on that night that I had met two different people who were from Wisconsin or who had significant others from Wisconsin and I was like, really? She's like, yeah. She's like, we um, met at a music festival in 2005 and we got married. We've been married ever since and we live here and um, we travel a lot, but we're living here currently for the moment. And I was like, wow, that's fascinating. That's awesome. I was really like, you know, I wanted to know more and of course ask lots of questions, but I didn't want to like freak her out or anything. <laughs> so, you know, that was really great. And I was like, you know, I was really amazed and she was really sweet and kind and Okay, I'm going to tell you two really random things that happened. Number one, a guy came up to me and he's like, oh, you're beautiful. And he was like, so if I paid you, would you get my name tattooed on you? And I'm like, what? I had to make sure I was hearing this correctly. It was like, if I pay you, will you get a tattoo of my name? And I'm like, um, uh, no, I have a boyfriend. <laughs> I have a boyfriend. And he was like, oh, are you sure? Are you sure? Because I think my name would go great on you. And I'm like, Oh my god. I'm like, is this dude high or is he lit or is he drunk? What the fuck? And then like, my friend's fiance went AWOL on this dude. He was like, get the fuck away from her. Okay. And the second thing, <laughs> this lady comes up to me and she's like, oh my god, are you blind? Um, no, I can see a little bit. I've never met a blind person in my life. I'm like, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm like, okay. I'm like, what the hell is happening here? It's just all this weirdness. This did not happen all on the same day. This actually happened on Sunday. And I'm like, um, okay. I'm like, no. I was like, I, I have vision problems, but I can see pretty good. And she was like, it must suck to be blind. I would hate being blind. And I'm like, well, that's you. It's not that horrible. And it was really weird. And then basically I just walked away because I didn't want my friend and her fiance to like go AWOL. Jason got stuck on an elevator with two security guards. Which was really random. I don't know exactly what happened. All he said was like there was some security issue and they just happened to be on the elevator when he was. And something happened with the elevator and it was just weird. Like, okay. Brian surprised Alexa with a car, which was really sweet. Brian's parents um, gave them a wedding gift to Italy, which was really sweet as well. I would like to say before I end this vlog that I have some amazing friends. I'm truly blessed. I did not have to pay for anything except for my travel and my food. Everything else was covered. And I was, it was a really great experience. I had so much fun. I met some new people, made some new friends, and made some new memories that I will cherish forever. We do plan on going back sometime. We had so much fun, except for the humidity. The heat was awful, but it was lit. It was so much fun.